Okay, this is the other type of controller uh, for the Chinese diesel heaters. Uh, a lot of information on the um, on one that shows the time and also has a little um, little bar graph up the top here which shows your, your Wi-Fi for your remote control. This one doesn't have that. It has the, the red circle and it shows the volts. Uh, it also shows the picture of the um, of the heater itself, and this is showing the current temperature inside wherever the uh, the unit is. Uh, a couple of things to, um, we need to do when we first set it up. When we first install the Chinese diesel heater, you will need to prime the pump, get the uh, the diesel from the pump up to the heater itself. I won't do it because mine's already going but we press the up arrow and the down arrow press and hold them and you will hear the pump running. Um, as soon as you release those two buttons it will will stop. Uh, the, the older style I think it keeps running for a little while and you have to manually stop it. But this one, you press and hold the up arrow key and down arrow key uh, as soon as you, and that will start the pump and as soon as you release those two buttons it will um, turn that pump off. Okay. Um, as you can see the, the display dims after a little while and you just have to press any button for it to, um, to come on again. Now to start this one up, it's fairly simple, just press and hold the power key, this key here. And just press and hold that. Okay. And we can see the fan has started up. Little symbols down here are running. And it always starts in manual mode, which is H3. To change it from manual mode to automatic mode, top key up here, the settings key, we press and hold that. Okay. It now shows the little uh, thermometer and it's also showing now that it's set to 18 degrees. Now at the moment we can see that the glow plug is running but there's a little symbol down here for the actual pump. That's not running yet. Okay. The reason it's not running is because diesel needs to be preheated before it can actually ignite. So the glow plug is actually preheating the diesel. Once it comes up to a certain temperature, when it's ready to actually light, the pump will come on. And that has just come on now. And we can see here the pump is now, now on. So that is now heating up. If we press the OK button, we can see it goes to 000, which is actually showing the degrees of the pump itself, the outside casing of the pump. Now, as this heats up, this will um, come up to around about the 100, and, between 170, 180, 75, 76, somewhere around about there, depending on temperature that we've got got it set at. We'll just go back to the manual mode okay this is showing here that it's in manual mode but I'm still showing 52 degrees on the heater itself that's the heater temperature not the air temperature what it's set at. If we press OK we can scroll through that that's showing the volts And that's showing it's now in manual mode H1. To change that into a higher mode, as we can see the fan is only set at one speed, we can just press the up button to go higher. I do like to run it in automatic mode. Okay, automatic mode, it will tend to go up higher um, if I set this to 26 degrees, 
it would go up to 26, probably 27 or 28 degrees up here, and then it would slowly um, turn the motor down. Okay, we can see, I've put that in high altitude mode as shown by the little mountain symbol up here. Um, what Alpine mode does, it slows the pump down slightly to compensate for running the heat, the diesel heater at a higher altitude where the air is thinner. So the combustion is not as good as down at sea level. So to change that from Alpine mode to non-Alpine mode, we press the settings button and the OK button together and hold them and that will turn it off. And you can't hear it, but the pump speeds up just a little bit. So when we press that again, press the two buttons again, Alpine mode will come on, that's the settings button and the OK button. Um, that will put it back into Alpine mode. Okay, it's currently in automatic mode, as we can see by the 20 degree. Um, it's up at 19 degrees, 18, 19. When it gets to 20 degrees, it will actually start slowing these down, uh, slow the fan down, and um, and also you'll see these bars come down. To change it from automatic to manual, press and hold the setting key until we get the H H1 up. So that's H1 now. As you can see, that fan is now going down to one. If I go press it up to two. It will go up a bit higher, press it to 3, press it to 4, 5, and 6. As the numbers go up, the fan will go up. OK, to set the timer, we need to press the OK button and the down arrow key at the same time and hold it. Okay, we can see the clock uh, flashing and also the little red light up here, it actually says on. I'm not too sure if you can see that, but there's a little red light up there that says on. To change the numbers, so at the moment it's set for 9.4 hours. Now 0.4 is 4 tenths of one hour. 60 minutes in an hour, 60 divided by 10 is 6, so 6 times 4 is 24 minutes. So it's set for 29 hours and 4 minutes. That's when it will come on. But that's a bit long, so I'm going to change that to 9 hours and 24 minutes. That's when it will come on. Now we can turn if we press the setting key, the little red light has gone from the on down to the off. And that's set for 0.9 of an hour. So that's 54 minutes. But I want it on a little bit longer than that. I want it on for an hour and 54 minutes. So I'll press the power key to scroll between the numbers. And I'm going to set that for one hour and 54 minutes. Set that, press and hold the settings key, and that's it. Okay, this has uh, now come on after about nine hours. It was pretty close to spot on time. Um, it's now on. You can see the temperature of the unit itself is uh, up now around 180 degrees. It's been on for about 40 minutes and it's hovering around 180, 178. Depending on how high you have it, that's where it, it, it will sit. 
Now it's come on on its own, but as we can see, uh, just as you can see, the timer function is now no longer there, uh, which means it will just keep running. So once it starts up in timer mode, to turn it off in timer mode, you actually have to reset that again or set that up by pressing. I think it's the um, I think it's the, the, the top two buttons. Yes, the settings button and the up arrow. We can now see that the timer button is on, uh, or the timer is on. There's a little red light here. The off is flashing, and if we uh, just press the settings button, um, the, the, you can see the timer is there uh, at 0.9 of an hour. If you want that on longer, I'll just turn that off. Top button, settings button, and the up arrow. Okay, if you want that on for longer, or to change the time, you need to press the OK and the down arrow. Okay, um, you can see now that timer, the on timer was set for seven hours. To change it to the off timer, um, we press the settings button, and we can now see it's uh, the off light is on, and it's 0.9. So to change that time, we need to press up or down to change whatever number is flashing. To change the flashing number, we press the power button once, and we can change that now for one or two hours, 2.9 hours, which will be two hours and 54 minutes. Once I've done that, press OK. Okay, that's set the time for 2 hours and 54 minutes. To actually activate it, we need to press the settings and the up button again and hold them in. Okay, so that timer button is there now and the off button is flashing. So that will now turn off in the time that was set, which I think was 2 hours and 54 minutes. If your heater came with a remote control, such as this one, to program that in, we need to press the power button and the down arrow button. We need to press and hold them together. Okay, we can see OC1. We can go OC1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Depending on how many remote controls you've got, um, depends on what number you use. So I've just got the one. I can use any number, but I'm going to use one. All I have to do is press a button here. The light comes on on the remote control, and and that's it. And if I now press the up button, you can see that's that's changing. Okay, I'll press, hang on, I'll, um, okay, press the up button. Okay, so that's, that, that's now going. Okay, when the unit turns off, as we can see, the pump light has gone off, there's no glow plug light on, but it's still running. doesn't matter now what I press, I can press and hold the power key, uh, doesn't matter what I press, it's in a turn off state. So what's happening, it's actually cooling down. It, because the heater is quite hot, it needs to cool down. It'll take about five minutes for it to cool down.